what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to simply be walking you through how to set up a facebook business manager okay this is a question that i get a lot and this is what i see a lot as i consult clients real estate agents brokers small business owners all across the country and even all around the world shout out to everyone that's 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 subscribed to my channel that are in different countries as i consult and as i've been consulting small business owners on facebook advertising and social media marketing literally by the thousands since 2016 the one common denominator that i see over and over and over and over is the fact that an individual will have an ads manager set up, but they don't have set up their business manager, right? They haven't set up their actual business manager. And really the difference is, is as you really start to scale your ads, as you really start to stay consistent with your Facebook ads, you wanna start running everything out of your business manager. The business manager gives you the ability to see more reporting. It gives you the ability to delegate and, 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 and allow access to your page. Let's say for example, you wanna hire an agency, you wanna hire a Facebook advertiser, you wanna have your assistant run ads or set up ads, or let's say you want to request access to other people's business pages to even run ads for them, which is what's happening in my case with my newest client, Jody. Shout out to shout out to Jody, a kick-ass real estate agent out there in Colorado Springs. Just onboarded her, super fired up to be working with her. And as I do, as I dove into her account, she only has her ads manager set up. And that's why I couldn't get access to her business page to start running ads for her because she had she doesn't have a business manager set up. So this is what I see time and time again is an individual, an individual will boost a post from their business page, or they'll simply run an ad here and there from their ads manager, but they've never set up their business manager. And so that's what you, you guys ultimately want to do. So if you really plan on staying consistent, and running ads, Instagram ads, Facebook ads from this point on, set up your business manager, right? So what I'm going to do here in this video is I'm going to simply walk you through step by step on how to do that. Okay. And I'm going to use my, my newest clients, uh, Jody's page as the example. So again, shout out to Jody. Thank you so much for, for coming aboard with me and, and really allowing me to take your brand to the next level through social media marketing and, and Facebook advertising. So Let's dive in, you guys. I'm going to simply show you how to do this. And it all starts from your actual personal page, right? From your from your actual Facebook profile, you want to click on the home. You want to come over to the home and you're going to click on ads manager. Okay, so don't boost posts. Stop boosting posts from your business page. Stop trying to run ads from your cell phone. Like, like don't do that. As you really take this to the next level, you want to be doing everything through your desktop, through your laptop, desktop, whatever the heck you guys got, but 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 run everything through the actual um, um, computer because you'll be able to see it from a different view and and access different buttons that you just you just can't see on your cell phone, right? So so come over here, click on the home, click on Ads Manager, and that's going to bring you straight to this back end part over here. This is where the magic happens. This is the Ads Manager. Now by default. Everyone has an ads manager, right? So that's what Jody was running. She was running everything through her ads manager, boosting posts and just kind of burning money, right? In 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 the most respectful way I can I can put that, but burning money. You don't want to boost posts. You don't even want to stay in your ads manager. Again, as we really take it seriously and and start to learn how to run these ads the right way, it's the business manager that we want to be running everything out of. So in this case. It takes me straight. Once I click on ads manager, I'm, I'm taken straight here, right? So what I want to do from here is I want to click on the three lines over here to the left, and I want to go to business settings, okay? Once I click on business settings, if you don't have a business manager set up and you click on business settings, that's when you'll be taken straight here. And this is the setup, okay? So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on create account. And so the information that you put in here, you can always change it later. So I'm going to just kind of put whatever for now, um, and I'll allow Jody to come in here and edit and change everything else later. But that's the name right here, Jody. That that's her. That's her first name right there. First name, last name. But your business and account name, that could be something different, right? So in this case, I'm going to name it um, Jody Metcalf, and I'll just put I'll just put um, real estate. Okay, cool. Okay. So your business email, this should be an email you use to conduct um, company business. Okay. So let me go ahead and add this part in and I'll be right back.
Okay, perfect. So once you enter that email, you guys make sure you check your email right away and confirm it. Okay, so and again, not from your cell phone, check your email from your computer here. Since you're logged into Facebook, it's best to confirm the email from here from your from your computer as you're as you're already logged in. It makes it super simple. Okay, so confirm that email. Once you click on done and confirm it, it brings you over here. Okay, this is the new layout. This is the Facebook business suite. So the making of this video 2021, this is the newest layout. What you want to do from here is you want to click on, you want to click on more tools and you want to go to business settings. That's where we want to be. Okay, you click on business settings and that will bring you straight over here. This is your new business manager. Okay, so in here, what you want to do right away is you want to fill in all the blanks to the left, which I'll, I'll do part of this and then and then I'll have I'll have Jody do the rest. But over here, you want to make sure that when it comes to pages, you want to make sure that you add your page. So because you're already admin of the of your business page, right, you should be able to um, to 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 grant to get access to it right away. So your business already owns this page. So let's click on that one. And then if I click on Jody. There is her business page. I'm going to add page and normally gives you access right away. Bam. That right there, you guys, super, super important. Okay. So um, make sure you do that. Okay. That was, that was step one. So now we, we, we have access to the business page. And then also you'll see her name right down here. These are the people who are, are tied to the page. Okay. So um, what we also want to do now, so let's some page access settings may not be available here for other options. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So now we're good. We're good there. So the th next thing you want to do is set up your ad account. So again, everything used to be run through her ads manager, which is one ad account. Now we set up a business manager. So now we're going to have the business manager be tied to a different ad account. And that new ad account, the ad account is just simply where the credit card is stored. Which credit card is stored in which ad account? Which ads are ran through which ad account? Again, the ads manager that has its own ad account, that's where the ads used to be ran out of. Now we're gonna set, now, now as we set up the business manager, we're gonna also set up a new ad account. Okay, so all we're gonna do is come over here, we're gonna click on add, and we're going to simply add an account or we can create a new account, which is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new account. I can also request access to somebody else's ad account. That's why even if this is not your business manager um, for your business, let's say you're a, 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 a digital marketer, an agency owner like myself, and you need access to other people's ad account to run ads for them, right? This is where you'll simply come in here and request access to an ad account, right? So in this case, it's for her. I'm setting up her whole entire Entire business manager. So I'm going to create a new ad account. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in her information here. And what I do for the ad account name, um, what I do for the pixel, and what I do for the business manager is I name them all the same. So in this case, in this case, the ad account name is going to be the same as the actual business manager, which is Jody Metcalf Real Estate. And again, you can change all this stuff, right? This all this stuff could be changed, edited, no big deal, right? You can you can do all that. I'm gonna just set up the the, the template for her now, um, and then she can always you know come in here and change it to her liking. So I'm gonna go to um, that's Pacific. Where is freaking Mountain? Right there. There's her Mountain Time, and then we're gonna click on the blue one next. So first was the page, right? And then we're gonna go My Business. First was the page, now is the ad account. So as we come in here and set this part up, we're going to also need to check this circle right here. Super, super important. Everything needs to be tied back to the name. Okay, we got the business manager, which is Jody Metcalf Real Estate, but then we have Jody Metcalf. She's the actual admin. She is the, the, the personal brand behind it all. So you always have to make sure that this is checked for everything. And in this case, for, for, the, ad, for the ad account, you're going to check that circle and then you're going to come over here, full control. Just move that to blue and assign. That's it. And then what we can do is we can add payment info, which is what I highly recommend you do right away. But if not, you can always do it later, which is what we'll do later. So at least that thing is set up. Okay. So um, 
Jody Metcalf Real Estate, everything's going to be ran out of that. Then what you'll want to do is obviously connect your Instagram account. Now, she'll, she'll be able to do that later. So Jody, as you're watching the replay of this video, you'll come in here and click on add account and, um, and, and connect our Instagram account and connect your Instagram. You're going to click on add and then you're going to come over here, connect your Instagram account. And that is it. It'll ask you for your password and you'll be able to log in from there. Under data sources, what you'll want to do for sure is set up your actual pixel. So the pixel, in order for it to be active, it needs to be on a page. So as I was speaking to Jody earlier regarding landing pages and, and really the correct way to run an ad, which you're running an ad, they're clicking on it, they're going to a landing page, right? So that's where your pixel should be, you guys. Or on a website, if you have a full-blown website, you want to make sure you put the pixel on the website, okay? So we don't have a website right now that we're going to put it on or a landing page. So I'm going to leave this part, you know, as is. But in the future, this is your pixel, okay? That pixel is what collects the data of those who are landing on your web pages, okay? Super, super important. Do not run Facebook ads until you have your pixel on the page that you're sending people to, okay? Super, super important. And then custom conversion. Versions are, is another important feature, which which I don't do here, um, and we'll do that for a whole other call. I got many many videos on on setting up a custom conversion, um, so we won't do that right now. Um, and then brand safety, this was super super important. Again, as I was on the call earlier with Jody, she was she was showing me different links and, and different websites that she has through her brokerage. Right, she happens to be a real estate agent with you know successful with with a very successful brokerage. Um, I was going over the fact that today with Facebook ads, you have to be running that ad to your custom domain, okay? So you can't just run it to some random link anymore. You have to be running it to your domain, a domain that you own, okay? So in your business settings over here, you're going to click on domain, you're going to click on ad, and you're going to simply type in that domain, okay? Let's just say, for example, jody.com. We're going to click on ad. And then over here, it's going to give you these options or, or the instructions, I should say. Now, this is a new, new feature. This is this is as of, let's just say, three months new, right? As this whole Apple iOS 14 update rolled out and they, they really, you know, put a put a wall up on Facebook and, 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 and all the privacy, you know, um, um, issues that 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 they had there. So this is really complying to now what Apple had to do to Facebook, right? Which was which was really Facebook had to go around. They had to find a back door to allow advertisers like us to, to, to continue to capture as much data as possible. So we now have to let Facebook know what domain we're running ads to. Okay. So in here, what I always recommend is, is, is getting your own domain, get it through GoDaddy. I've been with GoDaddy forever. Um, here's a little hack that you guys can do. Click these three dots in the top, right? Go to new incognito window. Go to google.com, type in cheap domains, and you'll see an ad right here at the top for GoDaddy, 99 cents. You can get your first domain for a buck for the first year by following these steps, okay? So you come in here, click on the first one you see, add 99 cents, and boom, there goes your domain for 99 cents for the year. What you have to do for sure is you have to get a custom domain, okay? Once you get that custom domain, you're going to click on domains. You're going to come over here, hit the drop down, and you're going to click on DNS text. And that's when you'll have to log into GoDaddy. Again, that's a whole other call. I have a whole entire Facebook ad playlist here on my YouTube channel where I'm teaching you how to integrate your domain, okay? In fact, I'll link that at the, at the bottom of this one. I'll link right in the in the description below of this video. You'll see custom conversions. You'll see a video on how to set up your custom conversions. You'll also see a video how to set up your pixel, and you'll also see a video how to integrate your domain. I'll link those in the description below. But these are the instructions that it's super super simple once you once you know how to do it. Right, um, you're gonna log in to GoDaddy or Namecheap or whatever wherever the heck you're getting your domain from. All the settings are pretty much the same. But I've used GoDaddy forever, so so I'm super familiar with that one. But um, it's simply copying this code right here and then setting up a DNS text record, okay? So again, I have a video below, watch that one and that will walk you through how to set that up. But this is super required, this is super important. You have to let Facebook know the domain that you're sending traffic to, okay? So um, 
you guys could take care of that part later. And then what I can do is I can always remove, right? If that's not the domain, I'll just remove the domain. No big deal. Okay. So, so that's where you want to add your domain right there. Okay. So now the next step down is we want to come over here and for sure add your payment methods. Now, as we set up our ad account, we added our payment method there as well. But right here, this is kind of like the hub. This is kind of like the, the, the payment uh, method by default. So it's always good to put in a card here as well. Um, so you can just hit the blue button, knock out that card, and simply put it in right here. This, pro this, this process must be completed by a finance editor. You can assign this role to yourself or assign it to someone else within your company. So I am a finance editor. Click on next. And then over here, bam, there goes where you can add the payment info. Okay. So that right there, you guys, super, super straightforward. Uh, make sure you, you add it there. Um, and again, everything is going to your business ad account, which is this one right here. Okay. Um, and then what's so, so important. And I see it time and time again, where none of this business info is set up, right? None of this is set up. So you want to come in here and set this up for sure. And what you can always do is you can always add in fact, let me let me do this real quick just for the heck of it. And again, shout out to Jody. You can always change this information for sure. You can edit, simple edit. But EX, EXP, EXP Realty logo. And I'll just put this for the heck of it for right now. Um, and I'll just go with, let's just go with, um, let's go with images. And let's just put this bad boy in real quick. Let's go with um, something more like, something more like this, but not the PNG. I need the JPEG. Let's go um, EXP Realty JPEG, JPEG logo. Okay, so I'll use something like, well, actually, I guess I can use, I wanted to, I wanted to use something like this, like this one. Okay, so I'll just use, I'll just use this one for now. Um, yeah, she can always change it later. So let's put this one here real quick right now. Um, Actually, it's showing PNG, but let's just see what it looks like. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take that logo and I'm going to simply come over here and click on edit right here. And I'm going to add that logo. And sometimes Facebook allows me to add it. Sometimes they don't, which is very weird. But let's see. Submit. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's see. Looks like we're good. Okay, perfect. So there goes that. Okay, so there goes that. So now what you want to make sure you do for sure is you want to also make sure, and that, that logo looks horrible, but you know, again, Jody, she, you could change it later for sure. Come in here, click edit and put a different image there. But what you want to do absolutely for sure, the primary page, this has to be your page, right? So there, right there, that page is what's behind it all. Again, you have your ads manager, right? Your ads manager is what we all have by default. What we just did is we just set up a business manager. We assigned the, the business page, right? We assigned the page to the business manager, but we're also going a step further and letting Facebook know that it's the actual primary page. Okay, so again, Facebook just likes to just likes to likes to connect the dots. Everything needs to lead back to Jody. Everything lead, leads back to that to that that person who runs that page, and that's the primary page, right? So that right there, super super important. And then down here, legal name. This does not need to be a, a, a an LLC or, or or a corporation. Whatever your your business name is, whatever name you're running, even if it's a sole proprietor put it in. That's the business name. Put the address, phone number, website. You don't need tax ID. Um, and then make sure all that is saved. Okay. Super, super important. The business does not need to be verified at all under this verification. You don't need that at all. That's if you're like selling certain products on Facebook, which, which we're not selling physical products on Facebook. So we don't, we don't need that. Um, right here, you'll see ad account. Right now she has one. As she starts to spend money, as you start to run ads, Jody, then Facebook will give you more ad accounts. And why would a person even need more ad accounts? If you have more businesses, right? In this case, she's running everything under her real estate business. She has this one business, but what if she wants a, a, a side hustle, right? What if she goes, goes out there and starts like a Shopify store or some type of e-commerce or maybe some other type of random business? That one business can be ran out of, that, that separate business could be ran out of this business manager, but under a different ad account. So as I go start to run Facebook ads to my Shopify store, right? My side hustle, my side business, that's why I would need, or that's why I would, why I would want 
a second ad account. So I can keep all my real estate ads out of this one ad account. Now I can go run Shopify ads to my other business under that other ad account. I can have a different credit card number under that different ad account. And that's why a second ad account would be, would be useful. Um, some of you guys have five ad accounts. Some of you guys have 10 ad accounts. So as you start to really spend money with Facebook, they'll give you access to more ad accounts should you need them. Okay. So that you'll see, you'll see continue to grow. But in the beginning, you should just be focused on one. Focus on one. Get that one up and going. Scale this business. Start making money from your Facebook ads on one business before you even think about trying to run ads on other ones. Okay, so another one that's super, super important. Now, this is not her correct email. I'm going to update this email. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. But one thing you want to do for sure, one thing that's absolutely required is once you put in the email here, right? You confirm it, you put it again, you have to go check your email. And that goes back to how we first started in the very beginning. Confirm the email, okay? If you come, if you confirmed in the in the beginning, then you're then you'll be fine over here. But if you're coming over here for the first time and setting up this bit, this business info part. Yeah, confirm the email, okay? And it's best to do it from your actual um, computer. Okay, so let me put in her new email and I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So again, confirm that email, okay? Confirm that email. So now let's take it back to the top. Users up here, people, you always want to make sure your name is right there, right? Your name is right there. This is just giving you an overview. The page, the ad account, everything is the same, right? Um, actually, the page name is, is different, but the ad account, in fact, you know what? What I can do is let's again, it's all about it's all about keeping the name consistent. Now you guys can name it whatever the heck you want, but when it comes to the page, when it comes to the ad account, when it comes to the pixel, when it comes to the business manager. I personally just like to like just like to like to name everything the same. I'm just like that. I want to keep consistency in the name of of everything, whatever the hell I'm working on. So if that's the case, Jody Metcalf EXP Realty. Okay, cool. So let's go back into the ad account. Let's click on let's click on edit, and let's put Jody Metcalf E EXP. Actually, she went EXP Realty. Okay, cool. So we're going to do that. And then that we're going to save changes. We're going to click on close. That's the actual. Um, so now let's go back up to people. Now we got, um, let's refresh this page. So now we just changed the actual ad account name to match the business page name, right? So now we got um, Jody Metcalf EXP Realty for the page. That's her business page. And then we got the, also the same name for the ad account. Now, again, I want to keep it consistent, EXP Realty. So I'm going to come down here to business info, and I'm going to change out the name of, of the entire business manager. The business manager is going to be Jody Metcalf EXP Realty. And then the primary page, again, is the same page. So if I got to put that again, I'll put that again, save, and boom, we're good. So now if I refresh the page up here in the drop down, Jody Metcalf, that will now be Jody Metcalf EXP Realty right here in the top left. So there it goes there, Jody Metcalf EXP Realty. So we are good there. So now if I come back to people, everything is, is under one name now, you guys. Everything is under one name. And again, I would do the same thing with the pixel. And that's really, that's really at the page, the ad account, the business manager name, and the pixel. I name all the same. Okay. So again, make sure everything is set up in the business info, you guys. All this info, update that correct information. You don't need the tax ID. That's the only thing you don't need. And you don't need your verification um, right here. That's totally fine. So now... Now, as we come over here, everything is set up. Now she has a new business manager. Now, here's what I can do. What I did is I requested access to her business page, right? I requested access to her business page. But because she didn't have her business manager set up, she couldn't get that notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it over. So if I come over here to, um, let's do it this way. Let's go to... Let's go to, um, let's refresh this page over here. And let's go to pages. And now let's go to her business page. And so also what I'm going to do for her is I'm going to change out. I'm going to hit manage and I'm going to customize 
her user name. And this is a whole new layout of Facebook as well, which I don't even like, which I'll, I'll change later. I'll change later. I got to, I got to even, I, I still have to get familiar with this new layout of Facebook, which I don't like. Um, let me go back, click on home, click on, um, click on pages, go back to her business page. And all I want to do is just copy that link real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. Let's go into new incognito. I'm going to log into my account. Okay, so this is how you request access to somebody else's page. So again, this is what led me into even doing this video. Again, shout out to Jody. If you guys are in the Colorado area, this is your agent, okay? This is your freaking professional. Reach out to Jody for all your real estate needs. But again, as I was on the call earlier with her, I couldn't request access because her business manager wasn't set up. So again, that's what led me to want to make this video for you guys and actually do this for her to set it all up so I can get access to her page. Okay. So I can run an ad for her. So here's what I do. I go to her actual page. In fact, I want to view it from this view. I'm going to go to her actual page. I'm going to copy her page link. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my business settings. I'm going to come over here to my business settings. I'm going to click on the blue one. I'm going to click on request access and I'm going to paste in her link. I'm going to see the drop down. Make sure you see the drop down. You absolutely have to. Okay. Your business manager already has active. Okay. So perfect. So it's already, so here's what's going to happen. You already, okay. So I'm going to go ads. Okay. So I already did it. I already did it. Right. So I already did it. So once you do that, you're going to, once you paste in her, you hit the drop down. Then what I do is I tell the client while I'm on the phone with them, I say, okay, Jody, now you're going to see the notification in your, in your settings. So again, these settings just got updated. So let's see where they're at. If I can see them through here, or if I can see them through over, over in her actual um, settings over here. So let's see if I can see them over here. Um, Okay, so they're not, they're not here. So let me let me find them in the actual on her actual page. Good old Facebook, always freaking changing stuff, and not even notifying us. It's like, dang, dude. So in the making of this video, you guys, I just kind of got stumped in the last few minutes. Um, so because the whole layout of of your business page, and if your business page isn't looking different, it's going to look different. It's going to be looking, you know, just like just like this one. Um, so just the way this page looks now, in fact, let me, let me go to where, where now, now the likes turn into followers. This is a whole different layout of, of, of the Facebook business page, right? So this is, this is what I, I, I'm just noticing right now. And so I had to kind of go the back end part to, to request access. So here's what you got to do. So from, I'm in her business manager, right? I'm in her business manager. So what I did is I simply clicked on, I simply clicked on pages because, because her as as Jody is giving access to me to the business page. It, it could be the ad account or the business page. And the difference is that with the ad account, that's when you start running ads for for businesses, but you start running consistent ads for businesses. In this case, I'm only going to run one ad for her. So I'm all so all I need is access to her page. That's it. So I go to pages. I click on. Um, I can click on ad, right. Um, um, but I'm not doing ad. I'm, I'm going to just simply assign a partner. So, so from her end, I'm going to assign partner, get link to share. And in this case, it's only going to be for ads. So here is the link. So I end up copying this link and I end up going to my business page, right? My business settings and right over here in the business settings request, um, 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 this right here, I requested access to her page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm going to cancel this request. So let's cancel that request, right? So that one, that, that request, as I refresh this page, let me refresh the page. Okay, you guys, again, I, I, I got stumped again, but this shit is in real time. You got to see me do this in real time. Facebook, as they continue to freaking change stuff on us, um, I had to, I had to figure it out. So here's, here's one way around it. Okay. So again, I'm in my business manager, right? I'm in my business settings. So I go to pages, I click on add, I'm requesting access to their page, I get their link, right, let's replay this real quick, I get their link from from their from their business page, right, let's just say this is our business page, I copy that link, I bring it over here to mine, 
I paste it in. I see the drop down. Always make sure you see the drop down. Okay. Always go with the drop down. You paste in the link, you request access. Once you do that, then it's going to look like this, right? This is the one, Jody Metcalf. This is the one that I just requested access to. So now in her business account, in her business manager, she is going to simply come over here to request. Okay. So she'll come straight into her business manager, straight into her business settings. Okay. So again, that's why the whole purpose of today's video was to walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up a Facebook business manager. That's what I'm doing for Jody. So shout out to Jody, my newest client. I just set up her entire business manager. So without the business manager, she would not be able to give me access. Okay. And then without a business manager, without the client having a business manager, you can't request access to their page either. Now, it's always been like that. You, got, you could always have a business manager. But again, what, what made today's video is the fact that she did not have a business manager. Most do, right? Most do, but, but she did not. So I set it all up. And now, now, now I'm in her business manager, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, click on request. Right when I click on request, there's my information. So now, now, now she'll see the fact that I'm requesting access to her page, right? It'll, it'll either be an ad account that I'm requesting access to or her page. Again, as I, as I just got, got done saying, there's two things you can request access to from the client, either their business page or their ad account. In this case, I'm only running one ad for her, which is the like ad. So I only need access to her business page. Once I really bring her on as a coaching client and I really start teaching her how to run ads, or if she just hires me, some clients say, you know what, David, I ain't got no time to go through your coaching. I have no time to do anything. You just run ads for me every month. Okay, cool. If that's the case, then I'll request access to her ad account. And, and from that point on, I'll run consistent ads for the clients every month. They'll pay me the retainer, my retainer every month, but I'm running ads through their ad account, right? From my end, but from their ad account. That's when you would request access to their ad account. So in this case, I'm not running multiple ads. It's one ad. I only need the business page. So right here, request in her business account. Under her business settings, she'll see request. She'll approve it right here. She'll click on approve and then boom, that gives me access. That's it. So now as I come over to my page, as I come over here to my business settings, I refresh the page and now, now I have access. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. So I'll recap this as well, but now I have access to her page. So now it says right here, permissions given. And I'm, and I was given access. I was given permission to simply run the ad. That's it. Now what's super, super important since I'm in my business manager in my business settings, I now have access to her account. What's very important is that I add people and I add myself. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, everything ties back to the original personal profile owner. So that's why your name is still tied to everything. Okay. So I'm going to check that circle right there. I'm going to scroll down. I only requested access to ads. I'm going to click a sign and that is it. Okay. That is it. So that's how you request access to somebody's page. Um, so shout out to Jody, your entire business manager is set up. So now as, um, as I come over here to, um, it might show up under people. Um, it might show up under partners. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't think it's, let me refresh the page. I don't think it's, it's there, but, um, but once I, once I run this ad, yeah, actually, yeah, perfect. It is there. So, so it's under partners now, now she'll see me under partners. Okay. So what she can also do and I tell this to my clients all the time, once the ad, especially in this case with, with it being a one-time ad, I say, hey, once this ad is over, I'm going to run it for 30 days. We're going to get this light count from four from 40 to freaking 4,000 or whatever it may be. I always tell my clients, I'm going to run it for 30 days. After the ad is done, you can always come in here and remove me. So look, I'm in her account. I can come over here, click on partners, and I can click remove. She can come in here. She can click remove. Okay. So that is the workaround now, you guys. And it's simple. Just go in, just have the client. She's going to go into her or he's going to go into her account. After you request access, they're going to click on request. They're going to see your pending request right here and simply approve. That's it. It doesn't even take a password or anything like that. Um, 
anymore. Before it used to be, the client would have to put in their password and go through a few clicks. Now it's just click on request on the left-hand side in the business settings and approve. That is it. So shout out to Jody. You just have, you now have a new business manager set up. Um, I, as the, as the advertiser, now I have access to her page so I can run this ad and everyone is happy. So you guys, that is how you set up a business manager in 2021. I'll see you guys on the next video over now.